Hello, welcome to another Excel at the Office video or ito.blog. You'll find my uh, blog and website. My name is Adrian and I've got a great uh, little video for you today on Excel and this one is how to color coordinate with a gradient fill the background of a graph uh, which you might find particularly handy. So here's one I've uh, created earlier, Blue Peter style. So in this video I'm going to tell you firstly why you might find it useful and then secondly how to do it. So if you want to skip to how to do it skip about a minute ahead. Um, so sorry it's been a little while uh, from doing a video. I've got a day job and this I do in my spare time for nothing so um, unfortunately this has taken a back burner but I thought I'd do this quick video because in my day job I did one of these the other day and I thought you'd find it useful. So it's particularly helpful if you want to overlay a performance measure onto um, a grey graduated kind of shading scheme of where you've set your um, targets or what de denotes good or poor performance. So in this example um, anything above 90% is good, um, between 70 and 90 is OK and below 70 is red. So let me show you how I've done that. Firstly I've got some dummy data here in uh, monthly data just in a simple set of cells and as with any chart the first thing you're going to do is highlight the um, titles and your single um, piece of data so I've only got one row of data so it's quite straightforward this chart go to the insert tab and I'm going to choose um, a line graph because for sequential data particularly when it's month to month don't use bars when it's all related it's good to use a line graph that's the correct sort of graph to use now as a default um, Excel creates nothing like what I've um, done earlier it creates this uh, I don't know okay but not great uh, in particular um, chart so I'm just going to pick it up double click it and move it uh, below my other one and the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the size of it so I can um, make it bigger. So I'm going to drag it out to these cells here. If you want to be precise with what cells you're dragging it to, um, hold down Alt while you're dragging it and that will help you um, align it precisely to cells and then let go of Alt when you've unclicked uh, from the drag. So yeah, Excel produces by default a, a, a chart that I'm pretty nonplussed about. So the first thing I'm going to do is just some basic tidying up. Microsoft, stop please using Calibri 10. Um, so when I've got the whole chart selected, I'm going to choose Arial because it's a much more readable font. And I'm going to make everything at least 12, which is um, for enhanced accessibility any text you do in anything should be at least 12 point font. Um, I'm even going to make everything bold, all my um, titles and things like that. And for my chart title I'm going to increase this. So this is just some, I'm going to spend a minute just generally tidying things. Um, so if you know how to do this you might want to skip ahead a few times on YouTube. So let's call this overall um, customer satisfaction. I'm happy with um, my titles and axes labels being in black because my chart's going to soon become very colourful so I don't want to uh, overburden people with colour. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is um, just make the line a lot uh, wider and um, so you right click on that and choose format data series and the little paint bucket here so I've got my line I'll leave it blue for now but I'm going to make it much wider at 10 points wide so it's going to be really bold as the other line is and next I'm going to also right click on the line again and add data labels to get those um, percentages by default, Excel by default does everything that I don't want it to do. Um, so unfortunately we have to change that as well. So in the label options under format data labels, which um, 
is already brought up but if it's not you can um, format data data labels here um, I'm going to have the position below my line and just to make things stand out I'm going to have the text white and I'm going to add a shadow to that text so I'm still on my label options um, oh, sorry uh, text options sorry for formatting it's um, sometimes you have to switch between the two and under I'm happy with my fill and outline now I just want a shadow I don't want a preset I want it more bolder than that so I'm going to use a black outline uh, black shadow right now for the fun bit here's where you graduate the background so select somewhere in the white space between the grid lines so not the grid lines but the white space between and that will select this rectangle right click and you're going to choose format plot area as I've already got the sidebar up it's already um, gone to that so the fill I don't want automatic I want a gradient fill oh well that's um <laughs> helpfully Excel has done a automatic gradient fill um, for me which I don't want because I want to show you how to get to that point so I'm going to set it what it would normally do is default to something like this it was obviously copying what I did above there so that is helpful well done Excel okay so the first point I'm going to make sure my um, type is linear and the direction I want um, it top to bottom so where's the top to bottom one here linear down so I'm going to choose that it's already on that so that's fine so working from the left so this color is my top color here so I'm going to choose scroll down a bit and choose the color for that everything up the top there is going to be this lovely green color so then if my cutoff point is 90% I want to add another stop of color drag it to 10% along or so I'm going to have this also that same color and now this is where you get the 90% um, cutoff point I'm going to add the next color but instead of another 10% away I'm going to have it right next to this so there's hardly any graduation at all at 11% um, and I'm going to start things being amber so you see now I've got this kind of started from the top it's starting to work out um, I'm going to add another gradient stop I'm going to also have this amber and I'm going to move it to let's say I want everything from 70 to 90 percent amber so it needs to be doing simple maths 30 percent from the top uh, because we're working on a in this example I'm using a pretend customer satisfaction which if you want um, some tips on surveying by the way check out my um, blog at eato.blog or excel at the .com, and you will find how to do how to draw up a, a fully functioning well well questioned survey um, but this is imagining that you've got a particular question on your customer satisfaction which a lot of companies and organizations do overall how satisfied were you with the service and this is assuming that um, X percent of people chose either um, satisfied or very satisfied as your two of five like at scale options but check out that blog for more right so now I want to cut things off at that 70% mark and everything below that I want red so I'm going to add another gradient stop and this time I'm going to color it red you can ignore all the blue afterwards we're going to delete those when we don't need them anymore so again I'm going to butt this right up against the latest the last yellow one I can drag it to a certain extent but more refinement I can press down on the percentage let's get that to 31% and then uh, finally I'm going to use this end one for the other red so everything thereafter is red and I'm going to delete these gradient stops so instead of adding one I'm going to remove one so remove that one remove that one so now my background gradient is sorted and the last thing I need to do is adjust my line color because it doesn't really stand out as much as this one 
and I'm going to make it as well. When I select it, I've already got this sidebar open. But if you haven't got that sidebar open, as before, right click and um, format data series for the line itself rather than data labels for these percentages shown here. So format data series and I've got a solid line. I want the color to be white. There we go. And if you prefer, as I often do, a smooth line, so with the curly um, squiggly bits to show a kind of smoother transition rather than such a staccato approach, you can check this box. Um, so there we go. That's how you um, make a fantastic looking line graph. Your colleagues and friends will be awe inspired how on earth you've created such a thing. And if so, you might tell them that you did it from excel at the office .com. so i hope you found that helpful it's a different way of displaying um, information and a more visual way of demonstrating when you're going above or below your target let me know in the comments how you find it give us a a, a like thumbs up and um, please share this with others and until next time goodbye